It sure is. A labor of love. Are you taping sound? Dynamited boulders found locally. And Dr. Wolf placed every stone in this ashrama. Who wrote the. Uh, Here on the altar, there's inscribed something uh, from an unknown visitor. And it says, Father, into thy eternal wisdom, all creative love, and infinite power, I direct my thoughts give my devotion, and manifest my energy that I may know, love, and serve thee. So it seems to fit right into the, to the essence or energy of the place. We don't? I mean, not here. Oh. Can you get a pretty wide shot of it? Pretty wide. Everything. There we go. Can you see down the valley? Yeah. Might be better.
I walked up here, and I walked up here with Harry Murphy, who's the, the gentleman who's been a student friend of Dr. Wolf's for 35 years. And we walked very slowly. Um, it seems that the, we were a group, and the group came up here and lit a fire and sat for a couple of hours before we arrived. And as we walked up, <laughs> Harry told me the most wonderful stories of his travels all over the world to different ashramas and what it meant to him to be with Dr. Wolf because Dr. Wolf was a, a Western teacher and someone who spoke to him and his science background more directly and how much love the man shared and that they spent many years together and when we all got up here the feeling was that people come at different times and different speeds and different ways and different styles. But whoever is supposed to pass through here does pass through here. <laughs> and that it seems that many years ago, Dr. Wolf and students would come here and have gatherings or ceremonies and they'd be um, very empowered because they were all very devoted and very intensely concentrated on their studies which was the study of yoga that would direct the building of this this place in that there was no path here. It had to be made uh, initially by mule, and things carried on, on shoulders and by foot, and then eventually with a little chapter. But this was all done from nothing, or rather from the mountain. And to just keep at it until it was complete, and I guess I shouldn't say complete because it will never be complete. There's always, there's always a movement or a change regarding it. And part of it has to do with the fact that some people have come here who didn't understand the, um, the, sacred, the sacred aspect of it. And in not respecting it, there was damage done to it. In 1963, this area was considered in a wilderness act, and the Forestry Service seriously considered dynamiting the building. But fortunately, that wasn't done, and the site is now being considered as his, a... Okay, start walking now. 
In 1963, this area was considered in a National Wilderness Act. The Forest Service seriously considered dynamiting the building. Fortunately, that wasn't done, and now it looks as though it may become a historical monument. Start walking that. In 1963, this area was considered in a National Wilderness Act, and the Forest Service seriously... Okay, start walking now. In 1963, this area was included in a National Wilderness Act, and the Forest Service seriously considered dynamiting the building. Fortunately, that wasn't done, and it now appears as though the ashrama may become a historical monument. <laughs> that was bad. Okay. <laughs> Find it. 